far in this series, we've looked at the changes to the app signing process that Play App Signing brings, as well as the benefits of releasing your app as an app bundle and Google Play's advanced delivery options for modular apps. But many of us, or the development teams that we work with, had built up a lot of existing knowledge, processes, and tools around regular old APKs based on assumptions that no longer hold true in a modern Android development world, such as that one APK fits all devices and that it can be sent in an email or put on a server for testers to download and use. Now, APKs as the installation format are not going away anytime soon, but with signing on Play servers and generating optimized sets of APKs from app bundles, you need to adapt and understand the tools available to you to maximize both the quality of your testing as well as your productivity during development. Let me walk you through some of the tools that you should be using when handling Android app bundles, as well as a few tricks in the Play Console that will make your life a lot easier. Let's start with some basics when you're developing your app locally in Android Studio. By default, when you press Run, the app will be built as an APK and transfer it to a connected device or emulator. This is all fine when you want to have the quickest iteration times when developing, but at some point, you might want to start testing how your app behaves the way it's going to be distributed when using an app bundle. In order to do that, go into Edit Configurations, then change the deploy mode to APK from App Bundle. By default, all your feature modules will be deployed when you click the Run button. If any of your modules are configured for other delivery modes than install time, you might want to check how your app behaves without that module installed. One thing to note here is that with your app deployed using these settings, you will not be able to use the Runtime PlayCore API to install the missing modules, at least as of the current Android Studio version, which I'm using, and that's 4.2. If you want to test how your Play Feature Delivery or Play Asset Delivery installation flow works locally without uploading the app to the Play Console, it's possible with Bundle Tool. You can download the newest version of Bundle Tool on GitHub, then run it on the command line. Normally, if I wanted to deploy an app using Bundle Tool, I can run two commands. First, build APKs to build an APK set from my bundle. It will contain all the APKs for all modules in my project. The build APKs command optionally takes a local testing argument, which adds special metadata that will let me test feature module installation locally. To deploy the app on a connected device, or in this case, the running emulator, use the bundle tool install APKs command. It will read the local testing metadata from the previous step and push all optional modules into the device's local storage. Now, when I run my app, without any code changes required, installation of on-demand features works, all locally without connecting to the Play Store. If you want to try this yourself, we've added a custom Gradle plugin in our PlayCore KTX sample that adds a new build task called Debug Install APKs for Local Testing. All it does is run the two bundle tool commands that I mentioned before, so you don't have to use bundle tool on the command line every time. This is helpful if you want to quickly iterate on your app while developing, but at some point, you will want to test your app's real flow using APKs served by the Play Store. I'll show you a few of the ways you can share and install test versions of your app with your development team. But first of all, you need to create an app listing and upload a first version into any of the tracks, then wait until it's reviewed, which can take a few days or even a week. So best do it early. But remember to upload a version of your app that follows all Google Play policies. I recommend starting with the internal testing track, so you can select a small number of people from your organization who will be able to access it while developing. After the initial review, uploading new versions to the internal testing track is fast, but it still needs to follow unique version requirements. If you want even less restrictions and a faster iteration time, check out the Internal App Sharing tab. Artifacts uploaded to Internal App Sharing don't have to follow any version requirements. It also accepts debuggable APKs and bundles. Simply configure who can upload and download artifacts here and start uploading. You can drag and drop files from your computer on this page 
And for each artifact, you get a URL in seconds, which you can then share with downloaders. Internal app sharing is not a regular track, so testers always get the specific artifact that the URL is pointing to, and it will not be updated to any newly uploaded versions. At the same time, it supports all advanced upbundle features, such as downloading on-demand feature modules. Here, I've installed a version of our PlayCore KTX sample from an internal app sharing link. I can see which APKs have been installed, and when I open the app and invoke the camera on-demand feature, it will start downloading from Play. Once it's installed, I can see it on the internal app sharing screen on the device. And if you'd like to test your in-app updates API implementation, there's another neat trick you can do. Upload two versions to internal app sharing. Install the one with the lower version code first, as I've done already. Then open the link to an artifact with a higher version code on the device, but do not click Update just yet. Instead, go back to the app, and it should now show the available update. There's one more way you can use internal app sharing. In the App Bundle Explorer, select any of your published artifacts, including previous versions of your app, and switch to the Downloads tab. Here you can get a direct internal app sharing link to install that specific version on a device with Play Store. It's especially helpful if you want to investigate a bug in an older version of your app or test updates to a newer version. All right, that was it for my demo. I think it covers most of the things that developers need in order to verify and test how your apps behave on various device configurations and when using advanced delivery features, such as Play Feature Delivery, for accessing modules dynamically. I hope that with the improvements to tooling that we've made, the transition to app bundles will be smooth for everyone. But if you think anything is missing, we'd like to hear from you. Please let us know on Twitter, tagging me and Android Dev or Android Studio, or file a bug or a feature request in the bug tracker on b.android.com. Thanks.